everybody, it's Crystal Gale Smith with All Things Thoroughbred. I have a special guest with me today. This is Kirsten Johnson. She's been so gracious to let us come here at the facility. And Kess Mark, I'm Shannon Rudd. Kirsten, thank you for welcome to the show. And so we have a million questions I'm dying to delve into. swim and yeah. you conquer that and then you get better and better and better it kind of makes everything in life easier for them so i know that people see a big difference in the ones in how they handle at the sale sure yeah you know? sure yeah and that's music to the ears of the people who are having to handle them because oh, yeah. you and i know what that's like when they're out the sale oh, yeah. unforeseen things happen well and you and i all know you know <laughs> if you go to the sale and you're looking hard at two and one is a bad actor and one handles everything like a professional who do you want to buy and train? Absolutely. So it makes sense. And the, there, there's so many little innuendos that, that, you know, have to happen for everything to come right. But, but we are a service farm. I mean, we're here for the community. That's why we live. You know, we're, we're here to preserve the veterinarian's work. Should there be an injury, mm. we're here to, um, for the owners, um, if they send a horse, if a vet sends a horse, we're here for him. We, can, we have no vet on staff for a solid reason because... We have a lot of vets in this town and a lot of really great veterinarians. They should make the call on their horses. And this oh, is, the, when they send a horse here, this is their rehab center. Yeah. They call the shots and it's, you know, if they want my assistance, great. If they know what they want the horse to do, that's fine too. We're fine either way. So you would say this is the equivalent for a human as occupational and physical therapy? Yes. Yes, yes it is. And we have a wide range of therapies. I mean, we have some of these, res we, we specialize in respiratory horses. So okay. bleeders, post-surgery on throats. Um, I mean, I have horses that are nebulized here four times a day. I didn't know that you guys done nebulizing treatments. Oh, uh, I yeah. know we humans started, do it, but I didn't know that. Well, we started, I mean, we have done more research and more work with nebulizers with Dr. Robert Holland than probably oh. anyone in the world. And um, I think it's one of the most underutilized therapies for the human. That there is. I mean, we should be nebulizing. Like, 
if if I had if I had small children, trust me, they'd be nebulizing when they got sick. And now we have so many of these great organic things like Vetplex and silver and the silvers that aren't a drug, but I can nebulize an antibiotic here under, of course, the supervision of, of, of our veterinarians. We can nebulize an antibiotic and never systemically have to give one and still clean these horses up without messing up their whole system. That's when it comes. really cool. Yeah. So behind us, we have a swimming pool. Yes, we do. Tell me about the depth of it and um, with the purpose of it, and much like the walking machine, uh, a circular for a reason. Well, well there's two kinds of swimming. There's a straight line pool and a circular pool. Okay. We have a circular pool here. The straight line pool teaches the horse to swim from point A to point B. Okay. And then they have to turn around and swim from point A to point B. The, the circular pool, they have to, they learn to rate themselves a little bit. More. So we start with one lap and then we increase to two and we slowly increase. But the pool understood is a tool. It's not instead of. Sure. We don't use any of the water therapies here. If a horse can't train on the track so they come here to swim, eh, it ain't happening. Right. You know, if they're not sound enough to train, then they well, don't certainly they don't need to train. I don't want them I don't want them training in my pool because they can't hit the ground. Now Makes if sense. you want to bring a horse here a few days, a couple, three days a week while they're in training, I, I do that a great deal and the horses do super. I mean swimming is utilized in a lot of other countries way more than it is here. But the understanding is that the leg is a piston, the foot is not the pump. I like it. I like it. So when a horse bears weight, that stops all circulation. That pretty much that that's why, you know, that's where the problem the reaching, is. Yeah. That's where mm -hmm. when they pick that foot up and bend it is the blood going up and down. Well then you increase the heart rate by the swimming and you're pumping a lot of blood everywhere without it. any interruption. So the pool plays a cert, a really crucial role, but it's not for every horse, and that's why we have the aqua tread. All of my water therapies are in ground for safety reasons. Um, I don't have boxes that I fill up with water um, because this is all I do. I'm not going anywhere. And we have just found that the in ground water therapies are a way safer way to go. You have, a, we set up everything here with this in mind. You know, when you look at something, what's the worst thing that can happen? You know it will eventually. <laughs> I mean, it's going to happen. If, it's, if it involves a horse, a it's, when, huh? it's not a matter of if, it's when. And then do everything you can in your design so that when it does happen, everybody gets out safely. And that's, what, yeah. that's how we have set up the aqua tread. Our cold spa is, that thing is worth its weight in gold. Let's stop and talk about that. What's the cold yeah. spa and what is the benefit or purposes of that? Well, I, 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 the cold spa is salt water at, 32, at 33 degrees. Okay, so it's right above freezing. Sometimes it gets a little colder. I have chillers on it. It's in ground, so the horse walks in. It's above their above their knee and above their hock. In my mind, in the training setting, like if I was a trainer, I wouldn't be without a cold spa. I think that there is going to be research down the road, and we certainly have seen it on the human side. The cryotherapy of those joints during the training process, I mean, it, it's a game changer in minimizing injury. It's so a if, game changer. So if we're looking at a horse, just like we do a pro athlete. Yes. This is this is the ice chest for him. This is the ice chest. Love it. And they Love stand it. in it. Um, I mean, Wesley Ward uses it a lot, okay. and he says, first in this." I mean, swears by it. He swears by it. He says it has cut down on his on the injections mm -hmm. and the things. You know, we have to look for ways to keep these horses healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just see them when they're injured. You know, what can we do to prevent injuries? And there's all kind of great new things coming down the pike um, to keep horses healthy and to prevent things from going wrong in the first place. And that's really the direction that Kesmark is going in and that I hope everybody else is going in too. In veterinarians at the racetrack, they're gonna to have to learn to practice a different kind of medicine. Um, yeah, as things, things are change changing. and evolve, you yes. gotta roll with the time, right? Yes, and it's not, you know, they went to school a long time and they have a great deal of knowledge. So why don't they get paid for their knowledge instead of having to push drugs? Right. If you talk to a vet on the phone and he's giving you advice, you probably should pay for that advice, just like you would an attorney. Right. He has as much if not more education and he probably, you know, he probably has a lot of things that he could share if he was allowed to do so. How would you fix something, not put a band-aid on it? So I think veterinar the veterinarians are going to have to learn to do things differently. I mean, and I'm all for it. 
I mean, I am, that's, I've got Yeah, a, I mean, and like, you know, with humans, like I know when I think about my doctor, one of the selling points to my doctor is he isn't so quick to just give me a pill to fix something. Yes. He looks at a multi-dimensional approach. Yes. And sometimes it's something very simple, homeopathic. Yes. yes. Um, something as simple as going to therapy. Yep. And boom, six weeks, 12 weeks later, yep. I'm good to go. You know, there are there's technologies out there now. There's cytokine testing that you can do, and you can I, you can tell by a blood test if it's bone or soft tissue. You don't have to stop training. Back off until those numbers yeah. go down. There's all kinds of great tools out there. Um, that are really positive for the trainers and positive for the horses and the owners and you know we're working on those things here all the time coming up with you know new innovative ways to, to look at it and I will tell you this that 95% of the horses that walk through the door here with an injury the injury they come with is secondary to the one that caused it so you can address the injury that's in front of you all day long but if you don't address why it happened they're going to go back and get injured again. Yeah, makes perfect sense. So, they're a quadruped, you know, they're pretty compensatory. It's a, you know, it's a passion that we do here. It's a, This is a family. I have 120 years of employees here that have been with me. Like if you add all the years together, people have been here a long time. My staff is the key to what we do. These people yeah. are amazing. And, and on a side note, I have to give a little plug to you because I was coming out of the office just a second ago. I got to tell the audience this. <laughs> she's over here at the walking machine and she's talking to her little guy walking and she's just like, I love you. Who's your mama? So I can tell it's a very personal experience for yeah. you coming into this place every day and, oh, and seeing yeah. your athletes. Yep, it is. We want to talk about the affordability factor mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. what it's like for someone mm -hmm. that would consider, as we talked about, the tool and the mm -hmm. toolbox of many things that they can be doing for the hyperbaric chamber, swimming and mm -hmm. things like that. I mean, is it for the only the elite or can someone really get in here and you all work together and do something? Let's great? say you've had a really, we've had a really tough winter and you're a professional and you simply, I mean, there is no way that you could make it to the barn the ground has been frozen, the weather is horrible, you're coming into a part of the time of year where you got to have your horse have a certain level of conditioning to go do whatever it is you want to do. You know, sending them to Kesmark for 30 to 45 days, we charge $80 a day and that includes the water therapy and all the board. You cut, you just, you now, if you have a barrel horse, you, you can go straight to a barrel race. Love I it. mean, you can just go. If you have a three-day eventer, you have just cut 60 days of pounding off of that horse. He is now ready to go under tack, and I have a great rider too. So this is really cost-effective. Post-surgically, it's super cost-effective because at the end of the day, if you think you come in, you pay $40 to swim or aqua tread. You know, 40 more dollars, and they're standing in a stall here, and you don't even have to hook up your truck. And I'm feeding them. Amazing. So if you really add it up, it's not that, if you think about it, it's not that expensive. And so you want to come for two weeks, and then you want to haul them in and out. Get a good foundation. Just get that first two weeks. Listen, that's why we're here. You know, I don't want people to think that we only do this or that. You know, call me up. Um, we'll make a custom, if, if we have the space, we'll make a custom schedule, or custom schedule for a you. Plan. A plan. A plan. A plan. So if the weather's bad, whether it's too hot, too cold, or you're going on vacation, or whatever the reasoning, you know, that's why we're here, you know. And we're not, listen, we're not, we're here for one reason, and that's a horse. That's it. It's not that hard. You that's know? what it's all about. That's it? what it's all about. You know, and while we're on that subject, mm -hmm. um, you know, you and I were on the phone earlier, and you mm -hmm. said something that, it touched me. And I'd like for us to revisit that. Yep. We talk about what life would be like if there were no country roads, there was no Pisgah Pike, there was no Shannon Run. I want everybody to really look hard at what's happening in our industry. And I want everybody to realize that I want you to drive up and down these roads, these farms. This is our life. Yes. And they're trying to take it away. I mean, if, 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 you do, if we do not step up and realize how important this industry is, not just to here in Lexington, but if it was gone from here, I just can't fathom it. 
if we didn't have horse racing, what are we going to do? Yeah. What would we do? And whether you, if you want to think about it or not think about, it, if you want to put it on the back burner, that's fine. But it's happening. And if we do not have national rules, you know, everybody's. We got to quit worrying about Lasix. Screw Lasix. Lasix is the least of our worries. We need to worry about making rules that every state that's good for every state. And everybody needs to sit down in a room and figure this out together. Kristen, thank you for taking time out. I know how important your time is, and you've got so many babies here that you yeah. just, your mama too, so yeah. I, I appreciate you taking that time out. But I want to touch real quickly, if the public wants to find you on the geographical map, yep. um, they want to look you up on a website, yep. and how can they get in touch with you? Well, first of all, just know that this we are, you know, call my office anytime. Um, look at kesmark.com, K-E-S-M-A-R-C.com. Um, my office number is on there. My personal number is on there. And you can also send questions. So if you have a question about a horse, if you have something specific that you want to know, hey, my horse is recovering from, That's or great. yeah, you can don't address hesitate. It. You can address it right there, and I'll I'll call you back. Um, we're starting our social media, but there's a lot of things on our website, and there's a lot of great information about who we are. And don't hesitate to ask or call us with any questions. I that's that's why we're here. That's why we're here to help help you with your horse, Rego you know whatever your horse is. So. How are you guys? You heard it first here on All Things <laughs> Thoroughbred. We look forward to seeing you next time on our next vlog.